We are at the 9-11 showing. Below the road, there's all this material that was thrown down. And what we're doing before this gets lost to time or covered again, we're just searching down here and we're taking all these well mineralized samples to take home. You can see the sulfides. We're just grabbing the massive sulfide samples that have pyrite and calcopyrite. And we're storing these in a pile up here and then we'll show how much we get after from this 20, 30 meter stretch of road. Okay. This is a stringer it looks like. Lots of samples here. Try and get some of these out, as many as we can. From what I can tell, these all look like they're from the same vein. Samples galore. There's a bunch in there, but I don't know if I can reach them. The only samples I'm getting are the massive sulfide ones. I don't know if my truck's going to be able to hold all these. Another big one here. A few more. This one has good calcopyrite. Another chunk. So for the sake of not overloading my truck, we got enough samples, I think. So we got two rice bags here full. We got samples here. We got samples over there. These are all the same mineralization. Got a whole bunch more here. I think we got enough samples. So I have a bunch more samples here. So 
So one thing I'll mention is these darker areas on the mineralization. It looks black on the camera, but it's actually iridescent if you look at it under magnification. So you have copper sulfides all throughout these. The black is actually a bluish color. You have some pinks, purples, and I mean greens in there under magnification. So we got some good samples. We got six of these rice bags full of samples. Lots of mineralization. And the area that we searched was from here to the edge of that stick. These all came from this five meter wide area. We were going to search a bigger distance over here and down there, but we didn't need to because there was so much laying everywhere. Anyway, that's our stockpile from this area. Have a good one.